Green checking in from Station 9942. Looks like we're ready to reopen. I'm bringing her back home. of the vanishing. After showing me around campus this morning, carrying your books is the least I could do. Actually, Hunter, I was trying to put my books in my locker. Oh, in that case, I better leave you alone before I do any real damage. Oh, we're still on for 3.30, right? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Die, you look all goofy. I don't do goofy, Martin. I do amused. And Hunter Barrington just happens to make me laugh. <laughs> the new guy? Oh, please. He's been around for what, like four hours? You don't even know him. What's to know? He's smart, cute, funny, and we've got a date. A date? Well, where's he taking you? The library. <laughs> no way. You actually fell for the old help me with my homework <sighs> routine? It's not like Martin, I'm just catching him up on his calculus. And who knows? He might end up helping me. Huh? The center. Wonder where it's coming from. <laughs> Thanks, Joff. I think. <laughs> put my pursuit of happiness aside so I can protect Diana from the ultimate con man. Hunter is not a con man. He's a renaissance man. The perfect mix of brawn, beauty, and brains. Oh, yeah? Well, prove it. Prove this clown isn't just using me for your calculus skills. You want proof? Fine. I'll have Billy do a background check on him. Then you'll see that Hunter's a genius, and you'll eat your words. Good afternoon, agents. Moms? Allow me to introduce my clone, Mom 2. Now I'll literally be able to be in two places at the same time. Hello. <sighs> and now for your assignment. Today you're going to Boston to investigate the disappearance of a subway train as well as its conductor, Joe Green. His latest radio transmission was a horrifying scream. So far, there are no leads. Hmm, maybe we're looking at a simple heist. Oh yeah, it's really simple to steal an entire train, Diana. Okay, Wonder Boy, what's your theory? The train's going down the track, which is really well. Suddenly, it hydroplanes and speeds out of control. Then, ah! it breaks through the space-time continuum right into the fourth dimension. Boston, now, Martin Mystery. Huh? 
Hi there, I'm Martin Mystery, secret agent extraordinaire. So the train entered the tunnel and it just vanished? That's right. Sounds pretty strange. Has anything like this ever happened before? Quite a few workers have gone missing over the years. Maybe they just walked off the job. Well, that's what management says. Of course, with the whole Eloise disappearance, I tend to doubt it. Eloise disappearance? Hello. Yeah, I'm on my way. Uh, there's been a breakdown. I'll have to catch up with you later. Mm, great. Just when we're getting somewhere. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> to look for clues. Something tells me they're not going to be on this boring platform. But we can't just go rushing into a dark tunnel. We need to formulate a plan. Because it's melted. And look, there's some sort of residue. You want to activate? Slime scan selected. Analyzing data. Sample is volcanic ash, predating the Cambrian period. No way! You know what this means? There's been a pre-Cambrian eruption down here. A pre-Cambrian eruption? That's a little far-fetched, don't you think? <gasps> I can be, considering I was just in Boston, and now I'm... who knows where. Huh? Okay. Three creepy moons are converging above us. That can't be a good thing. Hmm? Huh. Billy! Billy, can you hear me? Oh, I guess we're out of range. Oh, great. Now not only are we lost in space, I missed my chance to ask about Hunter! Diana Lombard, I can't believe you got boys on your mind at a time like this. Whoa, check out. Guess now we know who Eloise is. Look at all this stuff, it's incredible. It must have got sucked through the same time portal we did. <laughs> Picture. <gasps> Joe Green's conductor badge. That means he was here. Only question is, where is he now? Hello there, and welcome. <gasps> I'm Mrs. Appleby. Boy, are we glad to see you. Yeah, we were beginning to think we were the only ones here. Uh, where are we exactly? We'll get to that later. Right now, let's feed you. You must be famished from your journey.
I sure hope you folks are hungry. My wife's the best cook around. Around? I made my special pot roast, candied yams, and green peas. Now whose tummy can I tempt first? Java's tummy. Um, around where exactly? I'd really like to know where we've landed. Mmm. What makes the roast so special, Martin, are the secret ingredients. You don't say. Uh, Martin, a little help here? Uh. Earth to Martin, don't you have any questions you'd like to ask the Applebee's? Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a question. Do you mind if I take your daughter out on a date? Oh, I'm afraid we don't allow Marsha to date. After all, she's only 16. Now that's enough chatting at the table. It's time to put away our words and pick up our forks. Everyone dig in. Hmm. I mean, last thing I remember, I was flirting with Marsha and eating pot roast. Mm, huh. roast. I have a feeling our impromptu catnap has something to do with Mrs. Appleby's secret ingredients. Now, come on, we've got to get out of here. Okay, okay, don't get tied in a knot. First, let's have a look around. We might be able to find some clues. Java see Marsha. <laughs> Sweet 16 Marsha, is it me or is there something very weird about this picture? Martin, it's dated 1962, which means Marsha hasn't aged in 40 years. Okay, I've heard of Miracle Cream, but that's ridiculous. And her parents haven't aged either. It's like, it's like the whole family's stuck in the 60s. That would explain their ultra-strict dating policy. Let's see what else we can find. Look, train tickets from 1962, and it's not just any train. Let me guess, the Applebee's were passengers on Eloise? Bingo. <laughs> it's the train tunnel all over again. Help! <laughs> Help me! Actually, I think it's worse than the train tunnel. Let's bolt! It's locked from the outside. Help me! being dragged away by the evil Applebee's and their deranged daughter? Hmm, this way. <laughs> oh, the trail's cold. We're on rock. Please, no, <gasps> please! And now it's hot again. Come on! Why does stepping into this black hole not seem like the right thing to do? Please, no, don't do this! It's Joe Green, the missing conductor! We gotta save him! Martin, wait! I sure uh. hope you're hungry! I tell you, my wife's the best cook around. Who are they talking to? I don't know, but I so don't want to find out. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like another Precambrian eruption. No eruption. Roast. <laughs> <laughs> 
Java eat too much? I uh -huh. think we have uninvited visitors. <laughs> Great, now what? Looks like the only way out is up. down there except oblivion that's it we've got to get out of this nightmare i'm afraid that won't be possible ungrateful guests like you need to be punished <laughs> marshall wait uh, I, I thought we had something special <laughs> think again Zook very angry. And after all our hard work to keep him happy, oh well, you'll get what you deserve. Now, Applebee's, who's ready for pie? Me! Could someone please tell me what's going on? We're about to find out. You want activated. Legend X selected. According to a legend, Zook's a Babylonian dragon. He's been living off the life force of human beings for thousands of years. Well, that would explain why he sucked in all those train workers and the passengers from Eloise. Eloise? As in the train that disappeared in 62? The very same. Apparently, the Applebees were on board. He must have made quite the deal with old Zook. He sucks his victims in through his magic portal and serves them up! Yep. Once a month, when the three moons of his dimension converge, it's supper time. Java, please tell me that's your stomach. Not Java. Zook! doesn't get his dinner, he's got no life force, and this party's over. Go, Java. You next. Martin, 
Without a life force to feed on, Zook totally turned on himself. Yep, his thousand-year feeding frenzy is finally over. Excellent work, agents. Yes, congratulations on a job well done. Everything was so perfect until you came along. For you, maybe. Think he might have a different take on things. Oh! Joe Green checking in from station 9942. Looks like we're ready to reopen. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment when Martin eats his words. Hey! Ah, Hunter Barrington, let's see. Top of his class since birth, expert in calculus, total brainiac. Aha! I knew it! He's perfect. But wait, huh? There's more. <gasps> He's also got a lot of talent for juggling. Apparently when I called him a clown, I wasn't off the mark. Hunter's a graduate of the Little Big Top Fool School? <sighs> I thought he was a bit overly coordinated. The reason he amuses you is because he's actually a circus performer. Mm. Don't be so hard on yourself, sis. It could still work out. Hunter could help you juggle your busy schedule. <laughs> now that's what I call amusing. 